Hello, my fellow tea bags. Good old brother Sin coming at you today. Uh, I have a knife sell video for y'all right now. This is going to be a knife that I really do not want to get rid of. Um, so right off the bat, I want to say to Blade Psycho, brother, you know I got mad respect and love for you, dude. <laughs> I love all your videos. You're just awesome, good people, awesomely funny, just downright good people. <clears throat> so now that I said that, because in lieu of recent events and things like uh, a rash of break-ins in my neighborhood and uh, people getting kidnapped at Walmart and having standoffs with police and stuff like that in broad fucking daylight. Uh, and like I said, in lieu of some recent events that's happened to me, I'm not going to say because I don't want my phone being blown off, uh, blown up 24 fucking 7. Uh, I am going to sell some knives and buy a shotgun. So with that being said, Blaze Psycho, I really don't want to do this, bro, but I have to. And yes, this right here has a lot to do with what I'm about to be selling, because what I'm selling is this. My CRKT, you can see it says it right there on the handle, CRKT, and it says it right there on the blade. That's a beautiful shot. Sabenza. Uh, and the reason why I say the paperwork has something to do with it is because of, here, I'm just going to go ahead and move this out the way. Is this? This is a CRKT mini catalog. As you can see, old mini catalog. Uh, you know, it tells off about uh, twin fused handles and hex head fixed blades and high uh, consistent blade quality and fine blanking and all that. All right, cool. So this is like from when the company first started out, and they became you know really famous really quick. You know, some of their old school stuff is an old uh, mechanics knife. You know, it even has a spark plug gauge on it, all that. But in the very back, see, because here's the part with the warranty. It's the very back of the uh, pamphlet, this little mini catalog, is this advert right here. A Sabenza Integral Lock. Now, you can see that the very bottom one says 6513. Well, that's this model right there you can see it 6513 made in Taiwan uh, so that's the only type of lineage that I have for this it's the only certification uh, the only paperwork I can find on this knife period um, I'm asking hundred and fifty dollars for this piece of knife knife history shipped uh, I have not carried it at all it has done nothing but set in a pouch in my knife case. I've opened it a grand total of 10 times now. Uh, as you can see, most people say that lockup is at 100%. It's not. It's at 99.99999999%. Uh, the lock bar, this is the way it came from the factory. Uh, the lock bar is not touching the other scale even though technically it's one scale. Uh, well, technically it's because it's all been fused together uh, via this backspacer. It even says in the pamphlet, if you read about it, how it's all one piece. Um, but there's a, uh, like I said, see the funky square right there is a metal insert, so it's a metal-on-metal metal contact. But you have enough space between this scale, the outer scale, and the lock bar to get a cellophane wrapper in there. And when I say cellophane wrapper, I'm talking about that wrapper on a pack of cigarettes. So it's not 100%. This is the way it came to me. Uh, only thing you see on the blade is the bufuncus for my fingers. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm the second, third, or fourth person to own this knife, but I do know that. It's only had a small handful of people on it before me. And uh, y'all can ask Blade Psycho himself if he's carried it at all. I have not. Uh, but it's a $150 ship for Knife History. Uh, and for those of y'all who don't know why it wasn't mass produced, 
or for those of y'all who don't even know this knife's existence, uh, Chris Reeves absolutely positively hated the knife. He didn't like the fact that it was polymer handle. Uh, most people say it's Zytel. It's in the same family as Zytel. Columbia River does not call it Zytel. <clears throat> Excuse me. They call it uh, a part uh, of the tough DuPont Minlon. M-I-N-L-O-N, Minlin handle. Uh, so, it's a polymer handle. $150 ship for a part of knife history. Like I said, it never came into production because Chris Reeves didn't like a thing about it. Uh, sorry about hitting the tripod. He hates serrations. It's serrated. Uh, he hates polymer handles, and it's a polymer handle. Uh, he hates the fact that the spine sticked up sticks out further than that on the than that of a real Sabenza, one of his Sabenzas, uh, and he doesn't like the fact that it was made in Taiwan instead of made in the U.S. Bay. Um, so everything Chris Reeves hates about a knife, here you go. It's actually in this knife. Uh, it, uh, I believe he called it the anti-Sabenza, Sabenza, which uh, I'm not sure if that's an actual quote, but I still think it's a funny-ass quote. So there you go. Um, and I'm warning you now, the rumors that I've heard about this knife, I don't know if they're true or not. I've heard that a year ago that you can find these for about 50 anywhere from as little as $50 all the way up to $100 on eBay. That was over a year ago. Uh, a lot of people who bought them sent it in to CRKT to get it fixed. Now remember, I do not know if this is truth or just rumor, but... Uh, as people were sending them in to get it fixed, CRKT was either replacing it with a different knife, refunding money, or something. But either way it goes, CRKT kept the knife and had it destroyed because these are not supposed to be out, period. Every single one of them was supposed to be destroyed. So here's a piece of knife history for $150. Thank you all very much. Uh, you can either hit me up directly at PayPal uh, at uh, sinrik77 at yahoo.com. Or you can shoot me a PM, uh, leave something down in the notes, out of the way it goes. Uh, no trades at all because I am looking for money so I can buy a gun. Uh, if you're wanting to trade something, it has to be something that uh, you will realize it's going to be either A, flipped, or B, sold altogether. Uh, I am not looking to keep anything. I am looking to sell and buy a shotgun for home protection and Joe Biden if you happen to come across this video it's not going to be a double barrel sir it's going to be a pump action and it's going to be a pistol grip pump, pump action and it will be loaded with nothing but slugs so yeah uh, no double barrels here uh, this is not the 1800s and if it's double barrel in my house guaranteed it will be sawed off so hmm here we go uh, thank you all very much for watching uh, now remember, uh, I'm not selling this to get a new knife. I am selling this to get home protection so I can protect my wife and son. So thank you all very much for watching. Uh, keep your finger on the troll. And have a good day, y'all. Deuces.